Hello and welcome back to our Astrox Imperium Let's Play Poorly. In this episode, this is actually just going to be a, a side episode, side quest as it were, where I go over how to uh, add mods to the game and also a little bit on how the ship editor works so that you can make your own mods. So the first thing you should look at is go to the Nexus uh, mod site. Uh, I will put links in the description. And this is the Astrox Imperium mod site here. And I'm going to go ahead and look at, I'm going to just sort by latest so you can kind of see. I am not logged into my own thing so that just so it's cleaner. But here are the mods. Mods right now are mostly limited to uh, sh new ships, new textures, updated icons and things like that. Not much in terms of, you know, scripting and so on. There's a cheat mod, I believe. I don't know if, it's, if it still works. So... Right now, there are some limitations as to what's moddable, but I, uh, I understand from the dev, Momo, that he's planning to kind of open up a lot more as he gets closer to release. So for now, we've got ships, and we've got icons, and we've got textures, uh, and, and it's all fantastic. So, my favorite mods are by uh, the modder named Daring here, D-A-E-R-I-N-G, who is Dragon Slayer on the Discord channel which you can get to from the main screen of Astrox. The best ones that I've found so far, like I said, from Daring, uh, are going to be the ATC ch ship pack down here and the ATC NPC ship pack. So the way mods work in the game, where ship, ship mods work, there are ships which can only be owned by the PC, by the player, uh, and then NPC ships which can be flown by NPCs and, and, and other, other things. I believe raiders are also separate, uh, and so there might have to be different uh, ships for them as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, ATC ship pack, NPC ship pack. Oh, I know what it is for the raiders. There's a raider file that needs to be updated if you want to use the ships from the ship pack or the uh, NPC ship pack. If you come onto the Discord channel, uh, Dragon Slayer or somebody else will be able to help you out to, to get a copy of that file or to, to tell you, how to, you know, what you need to do to update that. But let's take a look here at the ATC ship pack. Notice here, there's uh, some information here about balancing and so forth, but you can read this if you need to, but really if all you want to do is install and take a look at what we've got, you can see here, these are some of the options. I personally feel that these ships are really attractive and look better than the stock ships in the game. And they actually look even better than this now. I think these are older pictures. You can see all of these here. And same with the NPC ship pack, which is essentially using these same ships for NPCs. There's a couple of others to look at as well. Daring put out uh, Better Stock Ships, which updates the textures of the ships that come with the vanilla game because the ATC ships are additional ships. They're added in as new mods for, for like, you know, a whole set of new ships. These are the default ships, but retextured. And they look fantastic. Another thing you might want to look at is the better resources mod which updates the visuals of the resources. Don't they look juicy? Same thing with the rarities mod, which again is just a visual uh, tweak. Changes the look of those things. There are of course other modders who have done other things. I'm not super familiar with most of them, like I said. I'm about to start playing around with the Sol V ship collection, which is fairly new, by Stinbeck. He's got a huge pack that has uh, multiple versions of, this, of each one, and you can kind of pick and choose which version you want. Different styles. You can see style B. And they're all really fun. They'll have this consistent, like, worm-faced style, which I, I think is really, really interesting. 
My uh, playthrough right now is using um, the a ATC ship pack. I have just added the NPC ship pack and the better stock ships, so those will populate slowly over time as we go forward in the playthrough. There are some others that are older that don't really work anymore. Uh, I would honestly say from whatever, whatever time you are doing the modding, try not to install mods that are older than six months because the game is getting updated so frequently that a lot of times these things will break after a while. However, if you come into the Discord, Discord channel, uh, folks there will help to maybe update old mods. Uh, I know that the EVE ships are pretty popular these days, and uh, so there have been some folks doing some updates, and a Dragon Slayer was creating some, uh, basically, patches to make these work. Uh, but yeah, EVE ships in Astrox Imperium. Kind of cool. All right, so those are the mods. Uh, like I said, try not to install anything that's over, you know, that's too old. Maybe, I want to say, the last six months of whatever, like I said. Um, so, for example, this better resources is my cutoff, pretty much. Anything from here and newer, we're good. Anything older than that, probably not going to work 100%. Oh, one other thing I should mention is better drones, which is, again, another visual update. It gives you new drone images, a little bit clearer to read. Those are also cool. All right, so now that you've got your mods downloaded, how do you install them? Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into Steam. You're going to right-click on Astrox Imperium and then select the option to browse, uh, browse local files. And then when you're done with that, uh, you're going to get the, uh, you're going to get the. Uh, folder where the install is, and I'm going to pause my recording real quick and come back uh, once I've got that up and I'll show you what you need to do. It's pretty straightforward, so it'll be quick. Okay, so here we are. This is the Astrox Imperium install folder, and what you're going to want to do is go to the Astrox Imperium data folder, and then in here you can see that there's a mod folder. Now, strictly speaking, this isn't just a mod folder. It is actually all of the files that are part of the vanilla game that can be modded. So it includes all of the actual stuff in the game so that if you want to tweak things manually, because everything is pretty much run as text files and, and PNG files, like you've got text files here, PNGs, you can literally just update them directly in the game if you want to. And as long as you're, uh, whenever you are doing an update, you come maybe verify files first to go back to clear and then update, and then write over your edits again, uh, you should be fine. But pretty much everything that can be modded in the game is going to be here. Uh, mission database, and then the, the images, and so on. The ship mods are going to most likely go, well, they are going to go into ships, and ships NPC, and ship parts, a couple other places. Uh, some of the images, I think, are going to go into items, uh, if you're updating drones and so forth. But basically, uh, if a modder has done their job correctly in packing up their zip file, the zip file is going to unpack into the exact directory structure that you need, and so you can just merge them over pretty easy, and they will go into ships, ships NPC, and so on. So for example, if you look at the NPC ship data, the defaults, the vanilla ones, are all down here. You can see because they've got these names like this. But the ones that came in from ATC, have a different name. They're named by ATC, and that's how we just generate it so you could tell the difference. Now, he did update, he, I did show you that mod for uh, the better vanilla ships. That overwrites, those those files override the existing ones, and so you just have to replace them. You know, the usual recommendations, back up your saves, back up your documents first so that, you know, you, you can restore if you need to. But honestly, since if you're running on Steam, you can just verify your files. It's not super critical. But anyway, that's how you install a mod. It's 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 that simple. I believe that at some point in the future, the dev is planning to give mod support, this you know Steam Workshop mod support. But at the moment, honestly, it's not necessary. It is very straightforward to update things and install mods. Uh, it just takes a few seconds. The uh, the uh, file format is you know, PNG text files. They come in the folders that are are laid out here. Very easy. Okay, so basically that's modding, and I'm going to pause again, set up Astrox, and go into the ship editor, and uh, yeah, give you a rundown on what kinds of things you can do in there. Be right back.
All right, so let's uh, get back into the game here. And you'll see here on the main screen, you've got this option for mod tools. If we open that, it's gonna load that up. Now I just wanna give you a, a heads up, a caveat. I am a shitty editor. I have never really successfully built a ship. So I don't really know how to use it well, but I know vaguely, basically how it operates. Uh, if you do want to learn more in more detail, I do recommend again coming into the Discord. It's pretty straightforward to do. It's just you got to have an artistic, uh, you know, visually artistic mind. I do not. So uh, that's uh, that's never going to be my strong suit. So I'm never going to be able to build a nice ship. So I have not tried. But here are the options for the mod tools. You can see there's a bunch of different things that you can do. But the one I want to look at uh, for this episode is the ship editor. If you go into the ship editor, it will load in all of the ships that you currently have installed at the time that you booted up the game, which as you can see here, includes for me, all of the ATC ships. And I can open up one of these guys. Let's go ahead and take ATC centipede. That is the ATC centipede. Look at that guy. Pretty cool. Now, what we could also do is create our own. So we're gonna go here and do new ship. Now be aware, I'm gonna call this one the ZZ Top ship, test ship. And there's a reason for that. Uh, they load up in the list alphabetically by file name, not by ship name. So just be aware. Well, maybe they do, I don't know, but they do. They basically load in by file name. So you want to do a file name that matches like this. So enter the ship, enter the name in the file name. It is recommended that you conform to the established naming convention. Example, ship data underscore, and then the ship name. So I'm gonna do ZZ top test because that'll put it at the bottom of the list so it's easier for you to find. So we're gonna create the, the, the ship and then it just generates it here. You come down to the ZZ top test ship. You'll, you'll be able to identify it at the beginning by this little chevron here because it doesn't have an image yet, which I will show you how to do. Go ahead and enter it and it starts out with this little guy here. He's got his engines. He's got his face. Now you can start modding. Go into parts. When you open up the parts window, these are the parts that are on the ship already. And if you click on one, it gives you the ability to move things around either numerically or through this. So let's say the hull tiny back button, we're gonna bring it down like that. Let's make it look stupid. Okay. Now the blinker here, let's, uh, let's bring the blinker up because why not? Again, reminder, I'm not a good modder. So don't trust me for anything as far as how these are supposed to look. Uh, we're going to bring the wings back to there, maybe, and we'll put the... I don't know. Oh, oh well, they're not matched up, so what you can do is you can go here and you can see where your what position is changing. So that's going to be the Z position. It's, it's color-coded. So we're going to say this is going to be 1.101, and we want to make sure that one is also 1.101. Looks like it was just, just happenstance. Command module. There we go. Now, I believe I could be... Yeah, yeah, here we go. There's the pilot cam. So the pilot cam module is basically where your camera... What your camera treats as the center of your ship. So if you want your ship to be nice and long and tall or whatever, then you're going to want to put the cam somewhere other than, you know, like other than like the dead center. Uh, and if you are, I believe if you are zoomed in, if you are all the way into the cockpit uh, spot, it will also view out of the pilot cam spot. Well, this is all well and good, but maybe we want more stuff on our ship. First thing we can do is we can add models. And these are all of the parts, all of the parts that are available in the game. Now, I believe these are also moddable. I could be wrong about that. They may not They may not pull in, I'm not 100% sure, uh, about uh, adding ship parts themselves to the game. But if it's not available now, then I'm sure that's something that'll probably be coming. 
So let's say we want to add uh, this weird engine here. So now we click on it once and then it adds it to the, to the parts list. And now we have to find a place for it. And maybe we want to rotate it to 180. Put it that way. I don't know if that's the correct direction. I don't know which way it's the front. Uh, yeah, if you're better at this than I am, well, it wouldn't be hard. Um, okay, so that's adding models, and you can add as many models as you want. Oh, nice. Put that one right down there. Look at that. That's the best ship ever. Now, the one thing we cannot do at this stage, but I expect will be coming at some point, is scaling and stretching. We can only move the positions. We can't scale. That said, there are enough model parts that you could build up most kinds of structures that you want. You can pick these little ones, like these, well, these are mediums, but you've also got smalls. Oh, it's not quite so small. Let's delete that one. Maybe delete that one. Let's see if we can find one. It's a little tiny one. Maybe cargo slot? Yeah, okay. Is this one small? Where's my cargo? Well, that's, a, that's a fairly good one. Uh, there are there are smaller uh, there are smaller parts. They they are yeah. There we go. So we got some wings. We got some ah. There's a good one. There's a smallish bulk. Yeah, and like I said, you can move them around. I think my ship is coming together quite nicely. Why is my cargo sideways? Let's go ahead and Y rotate you 90 degrees because it doesn't look right unless it looks exactly like this. Look at my ship. I totally want to fly. Now, this is all well and good, but the other thing you want to do is add mod slots. Right now, this, this vessel doesn't really have much in the way of mod slots. So these are the active uh, modules and their position. So we add a mod slot and now we put our mod slot somewhere. So that is a slot for your active modules. You can, of course, uh, rotate them and put them in different places on your ship, just as they are in the base and modded ships that are already in the game. And you can see that there's an arrow pointing to sort of the up or the forward of the slot. So maybe we need to rotate you 180 this way and then rotate you back that. Oh, no, we've got to go all the way around. There we go. That's correct, isn't it? Sure looks perfect to me. Uh, but yeah, so you can add mod slots, mod slot, mod slot, mod slot, mod slot, and so on. And then when you've done your image and you've got what you're looking for and you're you're all set, now, so, so, I don't know what the heck this is, now we're going to go ahead and save the image. So you're going to want to zoom in to a good spot and save image. And there's the preview. That's what it's going to look like as the icon for that ship. And then you hit close. And you can, uh, if, if you feel like you, you didn't get it right, you can always override the save of the preview. So it'll, it'll update to whatever the most recent, uh, basically the most recent uh, snapshot is that you've made. And then finally, what you'll want to do, or not finally, but probably alongside doing this, is go into stats. But first, I'm going to show you raw data. Raw data is literally the text file that you will be creating when you do this. This is what the ship will look like in the text file. And you can manually edit this if you want to, once you're outside on, on the desktop. Then there's stats. You've got your name. You've got your type. You can name the type of ship that it is, how much it costs, what the class is, and you want to change the manufacturer name, the manufacturer image. If you've got a special manufacturer that you've created and you've created a PNG image file in the images for that particular manufacturer, you can type in the manufacturer image there. Otherwise, find one for, go, go to, the, uh, to the folder structure and find the right image for yourself. Then you can, uh, I don't exactly know how the materials work, but honestly, that's a, that's a question for the Discord. Then your ship stats are here. Now, be aware that the stats and the actual ship itself are not currently tied together in any way. So you could make the ship stats make it a huge, enormous, honking ship, and yet 
it'll be this small. Or you could make a big, enormous ship and have the shot, the, the stats make it look like it's tiny. Uh, but you can, you can mod it however you want. I hope at some point in the future that the ship design system will have a, a tool or a button or something to kind of keep the two elements in line with one another. Basically, the number of mods and the size of the ship determines the general ship stats and so on. Uh, but for now, you kind of just have to eyeball it based on what you see for other ships. And you can always open other ships and look at those. I will do that in a moment to show you what I'm talking about. Shields, armor, energy, cargo, all of the defaults that come with the ship. Engine burn, energy recharge, and so on. And then you describe it, and then you can add bonuses. Thrust, afterburner shield, and so on. All of the different bonuses that can be added. Save that. You can add another one. Give it a negative salvager strength bonus, and then these get added in as your bonuses. Save the ship. Look at the raw data. Ah, this is the raw data. For, yeah, okay, so this is the raw data for the parts. Uh, anyway, so that, there we go. Once this is done and you've saved it, and it looks fantastic, you go back out. ZZ Top Test Ship, and now you can see that it has the image that I uh, created for it. Now, as far as I'm aware, at the moment, there is no way to delete these. So if you want to delete your ship, you just go, you just exit out and you go to the, uh, to the folder structure, find the ship, remove it, and then you're done. But let's take a look at some examples of, of finished ships. Uh, that were made. So these are Dragon Slayers slash Daring's ships here. Let's look at the ATC Anubis Mark III. So he did this by cobbling together a whole bunch of parts, and he put in these mod slots, and he moved the, he put the pilot cam where he wanted it, and so forth. And then he went into the stats, and he created this, and you can see Astrotech Consortium. He has an image associated with it. He's got all the ship stats. The bonuses and he has an image which I'm not going to do because I don't want to change it and that's his raw data for the, the basic stuff for the ship and that's it that's basically ship modding it's pretty straightforward you just have to kind of have uh, a bit of skill and a bit of creativity to get that going uh, and again if you do have any questions please do go onto the discord I'm there Dragon Slayer's there there's a bunch of folks there who are happy to help and answer questions. Uh, and uh, the dev, uh, Momoguru, is often there as well, although a lot of times he's just off doing updates because he's kind of a beast that way. Anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we've got. Thanks for watching. See you next time.